Ralph, the first two suspects in this roundup of arrests here in Catawba County were arrested by Maiden Police. The first of those two suspects faces weapon and drug charges. 36-year-old James Christopher Cantley of Nottingham Drive in Newton was arrested by Maiden Police. He's charged with two counts of possession of a firearm by a felon, possession with intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver methamphetamine, felony possession of cocaine, two counts of simple possession of Schedule IV controlled substance, possession of marijuana, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Cantley was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility this morning under $255,000 bond. A district court appearance is scheduled for tomorrow. 31-year-old Jose Bernardo Figueroa Santos of Conover Boulevard West in Conover was also arrested by Maiden Police. He's charged with possession of methamphetamine and driving while impaired. Figueroa Santos was jailed this morning in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $6,000 bond. District court appearances are scheduled for tomorrow and March 20th. The next suspect is a resident of Maiden. He faces a heroin charge. 27-year-old Christopher Mark Conti of Maiden Wood Circle in Maiden was arrested last Thursday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with possession of heroin and possession of drug paraphernalia. Conti was detained in the Catawba County Detention Facility following the arrest. Under $2,000 bond, he was no longer listed as an inmate. His next superior court date is February 4th. 34-year-old Bradley Joe Pennell of Mountain Grove Road in Hickory was arrested last Friday by Hickory police officers. He's charged with felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance and misdemeanor driving while license revoked. Shortly after 2 a.m. Friday, Hickory police officers conducted a vehicle stop on South Center Street. Police reports say that officers found 0.4 grams of methamphetamine. Bond for Pennell was set at $1,000 secured. He was not listed as an inmate in Catawba County as of today. He was scheduled to make his first court appearance this past Monday. No upcoming court dates were listed. Reporting from Catawba County for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you, Ralph.